Hello, this fitness challenge is going to integrate the hips, the legs, the back, the shoulders. It's going to help develop uh, squatting capacity and we're going to combine the talent to make uh, the shoulders be integrated into that process. I'm going to turn them sideways for a moment so you can kind of see the position. You want to start with the arms up. This will help keep the back straight. If, oftentimes if you do things with your back down, it's a tendency to round and we want to avoid that. So you want to keep the arms up. Feet are going to be anywhere from narrow to medium to wide. And that also changes the effect of the movement. So the movement as we start will be a squatting movement. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. The inhaling down helps to support the low spine. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Now, we're going to add the upper body to that, so it'll be inhale down, exhale up, push overhead. Tighten the abdominals, tighten the hips and the back, bring it back down. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Now we're going to widen the stance and do the same movement again. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. The depth should be as de deep as you can go comfortably. Ideally, your knees and your buttocks are in the same plane, but you don't want to force that position. You want to listen to your body and not do any more than you're capable of. We'll do it one more time. We'll go out even wider, challenging the hip flexibility. Elbows up, big breath in, down. Exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. This movement now, you can turn the toes inward, turn the toes inward, and we're going to do a good morning exercise from a wide stance. Big breath in, come back straight up. From the side, you'll see that my head staying up a little bit and my elbow staying forward, and I'm pushing my buttocks back, keeping my back straight. That will keep my back safe. Big breath in. Exhale up. Big breath in. Exhale up. To make it more challenging, you can bring the arms out. Big breath in. Exhale up. And get the shoulders involved during that movement. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. We'll do the same movement. Instead of being as wide, we'll move it narrower. Keeping the toes pointed roughly straight ahead. That helps bring the hamstrings into good play. Big breath in. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. By the way, when you're coming up, you want to be squeezing not just the buttocks and the hamstrings and the low back, but also the abdomen. Inhale down. Exhale up. We'll just do these in groups of five. Inhale down. Exhale up. And we'll do it again. Feet closer together. Toes pointed straight ahead. This again gets more flexibility and more pull on the, on the back and the hamstring. Big breath in. Exhale up from the side. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. One more. Inhale down. Exhale up. Continue on with the movement in this series. It's a little bit longer. Put the arms overhead. Squat down with the arms overhead, and then as you come back, bring it back to original starting position. The breathing is the same. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up from the side. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. I'm just going to widen this stance. Same body position, same arm movement. Arms up overhead. Squat down. This challenges the erector spinae, the shoulder girdle, flexibility and balance and coordination. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. One more. Inhale down. Exhale up. And we can go even wider still if you have it in your hips to do so. Big breath in. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, 
Exhale up, one more. Inhale down, exhale up. There's a lot of other variations we can do. You can check the other videos for other, other variations. Thank you.